Welcome. In Clinica Eugene, we know that each step is important, even if it looks easy. Therefore, we have created this video, a simple guide you will be able to watch at any moment. This way, you will manage to remember all steps we already explained you during the consultation. Do not hesitate asking about any detail, even if it seems small. Each step of your fertility treatment is important. That is why we will clear up the most frequent doubts our patients usually have. Have a clean table ready. Before using the medication, you must wash your hands thoroughly. Take the medication out of the refrigerator. Open the box of medicine and place it on the table. Take the pen and remove the protective cap. Now unscrew the pen and leave it on the table. Pick up a cartridge and clean off the metallic part with alcohol and gauze. Now insert the cartridge, metallic end first, into the yellow support as seen in the image. Screw the cartridge holder into the pen, making sure that the arrow coincides with the mark. Make sure there is no gap between the two parts. If there is, repeat the process. Then clean the end of the yellow cartridge holder with another alcohol swab. Now take a needle and remove the paper wrapping. Screw it tightly to the pen. Dial the dosage button until you hear a click. Carefully remove the needle cap and leave it on the table. Tap the pen lightly with your fingers, as shown in the image, to make the bubbles rise to the needle. Hold the needle upright. Now press the injection button until some droplets appear at the needle tip. Now set the dosage that your doctor has prescribed. Turn the dosage button smoothly until you have the exact dose. If you turn the dial too much, don't try to go back as you may lose the medication. Keep on turning the button until you go beyond 450, the maximum dialing point. Then push the button until the dial goes back to zero. That's fine. And now self-administer the medication with the adjusted dose. Use a disinfected wipe to thoroughly clean the abdominal area. Gently pinch your abdomen with one hand to show up a wider area of skin. Insert the needle and gently press the injection button. Remove the needle smoothly and press on the zone for a couple of seconds without making any movement. After administering the medication, you must dispose of the needle you used for the injection. Unscrew the needle in an anti-clockwise direction. Now dispose of it in the container we provided. Put the cap back on the pen. Finally, put the medication back into the refrigerator. You'll have noticed that it is easier than it first seemed. Frequently ask questions. Should I keep my medication in the refrigerator? You should always keep your medication in the refrigerator. Take it out only when it is time to administer it, then put it away again immediately. You should keep it inside the refrigerator. Don't keep it on the door and never put it in the freezer. That is very important. If I have to travel with my medication, can I take it out of the refrigerator? Yes, you can take it out of the refrigerator, but we recommend that you transport your medication in an insulated container to maintain the temperature of the medication below 10 degrees centigrade. Can the medication be administered in a different area, aside from the stomach? We recommend the stomach, but there are other zones where the medication can be administered, for example, the thigh. Can I reuse medication left over from a previous treatment? 
If it has been properly stored, it can be used up until the expiry date. Do I need any documentation in order to transport the medication on an airplane in my carry-on baggage? Normally, you should carry your prescription and the doctor's instructions along with your medication. Will I put on weight? Not at all. You might feel a slight swelling sensation, especially at the stomach and the breasts. This is a result of minor liquid retention brought about by the stimulation. Will I get spots or body hair? No. The hormones your ovary produces do not cause an increase in bodily hair or produce acne. Will I get mood changes? You might notice symptoms similar to those during the days before menstruation. You might be a bit more sensitive than usual. Will I be able to play sport? No, you should not make any major physical efforts either. You must not run, jump or do any aerobic exercise. Can I have sexual intercourse during the treatment? Absolutely. However, if you are suffering discomfort, a swollen feeling in your abdomen, bloating, it would be better not to. If you have any queries, please call us. But remember, if it is not urgent, call us at weekdays from 9am to 8pm and from 9am to 1pm at the weekends and on public holidays.